Hello everyone, welcome back to the Casual Looter channel. I would like to share with you today an unscripted video, just kind of trying a little bit if this flows a bit better than a scripted one, where I'm just demonstrating to you how um, a beginner ultimately is, I would recommend to them, I suppose, to go about clearing one of the first strongholds in Division 2 when you reached the end game, when you reached level 30 and you kind of gained sufficient amount of gear score to start taking on the first stronghold in the game, Black Tusk in Invaded Stronghold. Um, they show you clearly on the map of the world, they show you that um, the requirement, the initial requirement, just uh, like a hard line you need to cross in order to enter, is 275 gear score you need in order to enter this stronghold. Me, my character right now here is with gear score around 300. So uh, quite precisely, I think I'll show you a little bit later in this video. My gear score here is uh, 297. Uh, 297. So I'm over gearing, if you like, I'm over gearing content a little bit and we can argue or <laughs> discuss in a friendly way, preferably. Um, whether or not this content is actually designed to be playable solo. I am very fond of Division 2, absolutely love the game. By no means I'm an expert and I don't think that you need to be an expert in order to have an opinion and in order to um, want to post a video that I genuinely think might help some people who are playing predominantly solo and they're struggling a little bit, perhaps not everywhere, but in some cases like this one. This I understood from seeing some other uh, kind of search results in, on YouTube. This is a bit of a pickle. <laughs> this, this area is a bit of a pickle. It's on one of the first strongholds in the game. Uh, Black Task obviously occupied this hotel. And then eventually you end up at this garage. At this garage. So if you just charge in, like I, I kind of ranted through all the beginning of this, but if you watch the video from the very beginning and paid attention to what was happening on the screen, as I entered this area, you saw that nice orangey light <clears throat> of certainly some nice loot drop over there being already present and kind of lying around there. Well, what does it tell you? It tells you that I've already been here and I've died. I've obviously died the first, not even once, I've died a couple of times before then resetting, doing it a little bit of a... It looks a bit messy, this run, obviously. I'm not saying that this is masterful, learn from me, kids, but it is a little bit... It's just sharing my experience and I think it will help you because all I'm trying to say here to the beginners is the fact that even if you are overgearing this content, it is very, well, relatively hard. It is enjoyably hard, I would say. It's not frustratingly hard. Yes, it is annoying when you have to, you know, die repeatedly and then have to restart this whole section from the beginning. But as you know, Division 2, by now, hopefully, uh, all encounters work kind of in waves. First you clear whatever uh, the guard posts were there in the area, in this garage area that you, I'm sure, cleared when you were first playing the game. But now you're returning here and Black Task is all over the place. So first you clear all those kind of normal enemies, the reds and the blues, uh, so sorry, pur purpley, purpley blues, if you like. And then you get a little bit of um, a, a, a bit of a challenge with that golden yellowy uh, elite that appears and now the task has changed that I need to eliminate that named elite. My recommendation here, specifically in this area, which has proven difficult to me, so I bet it will be difficult for some of you, is play defensively. Play defensively. So do not charge in like an idiot. I charged in at the very beginning, but I knew that not much is going to happen. There were just a few reds. I already died before. I already knew who I'm dealing with. I knew that they are not going to kill me. Um, and the deaths happen when the when the golden named um, named elite comes. The one that I kind of have there in the background, that operator, that controller, right now with that Wi-Fi Wi-Fi sign above the above the health bar. So I highly recommend playing defensively in the garage and sort of as boring as it looks just kind of I basically sit there and I shower them with bullets and then I hide and then I shower them with bullets again only making really really uh, light and kind of very brief skirmishes if you like where I run out uh, to the closest uh, column kind trying to find a better vantage point in order to throw a grenade or maybe uh, as I just as I did a few minutes ago now on the screen with my turret and uh, yeah, and that's how I'm slowly, slowly, step by step, eliminating enemies, 
coming back into my little hideout over here to the base, if you like, then if I still have armor packs uh, available, that was stupid by the way, standing up there, and I obviously got, got tapped there by the bullet. Black Tusk is seriously no joke, as you would have found out by now, because surely you've been dealing with Black Tusk before hitting this stronghold, but with the stronghold, it's kind of like just the concentration of them and containment of these areas is gonna make it harder for you, even harder. So I just recommend not being fancy and trying to be defensive and using your special weapons. I will have a separate video where I will have a better compilation that will demonstrate in a better way, because these few shots that I did uh, in this video, if you've been watching closely, from my, um, from my uh, sort of grenade launcher, they were not the best ones, that's not the showcase of what this specialization does, but I'm absolutely, absolutely convinced that for a newbie, this specialization of the Demolitionist is definitely the most noob friendly. And if you play it right, which I kind of do most of the time, I think, at the very least to my non-competitive sort of enjoyment level, I would say that Demolitionist is definitely a lot more usable in this fast-paced, um, very fast-moving targets, very a lot of cover, like very hard to be an efficient sniper in here. We're not playing in the dark zone here with you, my friends. So I'd say Demolitionist is actually a fantastic, fantastic um, uh, specialization, which I'm going to showcase to you in a different video, where I'll have a lot more specific shots recorded just for Demolitionist. So be very, very careful about these mechanical um, mechanical uh, constructs, obviously, uh, robots that are going to be trying to flank you. There is one grenadier, there is just a, there is just a striker there, and um, just take your time. I died first couple of times mainly because, especially towards the second half of this uh, half of this encounter, towards I don't know six, seven minutes into into this garage battle. I think I got impatient and I started extending there, uh, kind of going a bit forward, and they flanked me very efficiently, as you know they do generally in the game, the baddies, but Black Tusk are particularly good at this, and that's how I got killed, and that's where it got annoying, because I felt like, well, there's a lot of time wasted. So, again, please play defensively. That is my recommendation to you, if you are a Rambo and if you really are so confident and, you know, your skill is so much higher than mine, which is very, very, very possible, you probably would be playing differently. Other recommendations that I would do, as you can see, I'm using two automatic weapons, primary and secondary, and mostly I was showering them with bullets from my military MK-46. It's an eye-level uh, 288 at this point in the video, uh, machine, machine gun, sort of, uh, yeah, heavy machine gun. Uh, it has 85 bullets in the magazine, not the one that I'm using right now on the screen, because this is the AK, obviously. But the MK46 was fantastic, and MK46 allows me to have a lot of suppressing fire without having to change the magazine. One thing that is absolute killer over here is that if you start reloading, if you are out of your usual 30-45 bullets magazine, and they flank you, and a couple of bullets, a couple of shots, and you're dead, even from a red. Even from a red, not from an elite, not from a purple. So I found that for myself, what works best is keeping suppressing fire on, hiding when I need to, and using my um, special weapon, like as I'm about to use right now, when the shot is clean, and I can just with one shot eliminate the enemy without having to target really precisely. So right now the elite is hiding behind that little box and now he's dead or she, I uh, can't remember. So that is generally how I would recommend to play through um, most of Black Tusk invaded zones. In this particular case obviously we're talking about we're talking about this garage area of the first stronghold, but I imagine and I already told you I'm not trying to pose as somebody already at the peak of end game and that's the only time when I would they're talking to you or giving some advice. Why? Why? I, I'm just sharing experience so far and um, I'm enjoying it so far and I'm sure some beginners probably would appreciate this because there's not that much content I found personally. I don't know about you. Tell me in the comments below if you feel like sharing this uh, kind of with me. I would love to hear from you. Um, what was your experience, especially as a beginner, looking for some simple advice, looking for some really simple, accessible, you know, in simple terms, advice as to or at least giving you maybe not proven best, because everyone has their own best, you have to keep that in mind, but kind of um, what 
like people just sharing what worked for them. So I'm sharing with you what works for me. I use heavy machine guns. I keep suppressing fire on and I'm st staying as far as possible. As you can see right now, I'm demonstrating. I have a I level 300, item level 300 um, uh, guns, but I was using a military MK46 here with I level of 288. So, and that was more successful for me than my very first encounters in that garage that we just now exited where I got killed and I had to restart and I had to restart this recording because I didn't want to teach you how to die <laughs> or even just not teach, teach is a strong, strong word, but just share with you my experience of how I was dying over there. So yeah, uh, over here we're kind of transitioning to the other area and that's where I'm going to wrap up very soon. And that's a lab that follows that. Um, the lab area wasn't as hard for me personally as the uh, as the garage itself because there is a lot of exploding exploding um, those little exploding gas barrels which I was able to explode and do some area of effect damage and then lay some suppressing fire use my special abilities by the way special abilities if somebody tells you that let's say a striker drone or let's say this turret the basic striker turret are just for noobs and they don't don't work okay maybe I'm a noob but for a solo player who wants to maybe not even do as much damage per se, but see with the help of that laser pointer with that red line to see exactly where the enemy is trying to flank me. It is tremendously useful even through the walls as you can see it works, right? So that is, if anything, so that maybe would be an advice for you that works for me. Hopefully it will work for you. This is where I'll probably stop ranting and I would thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this kind of uh, informal narrative do let me know i know that the channel is just starting i only have a few views but i definitely welcome people who are like-minded casual looters people who play mostly solo people who enjoy these kind of encounters and try to find good fun for themselves when they play solo predominantly solo not in the groups i have absolutely no reason or desire to start playing in a group i'm going to continue uh, playing Division and other games that are of interest to me, such as Borderlands. Yep, Borderlands. My god, that's gonna be a lot of other <laughs> times for us to talk about this because more information is coming out as we speak, as I'm recording this, about Borderlands 3. Watch my other video where I predicted that it will be released for 10 years anniversary of Borderlands, uh, Borderlands franchise, the uh, Borderlands 3, and as leaks show so far, at the moment of recording of this video, uh, we haven't had yet a formal kind of confirmation from Gearbox Software, but we will. And I'm telling you, we will see Borderlands 3 in September 2019. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me today on this little little video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. Yeah, if, if you did, please do give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.